Hi, uh, I just wanted to give you an update on the Hedge Invest Africa Opportunities Fund for September. We had a positive month of almost 1%, which we're happy about since uh, a lot of the African equity markets were down a bit during September. So we're po happy with the positive performance. And three things were driving that. One was the African bond portfolio, which you may have remembered from last month. We invested about 20% of the fund into high yielding African government bonds in local currency. Um, when we bought that portfolio, it was yielding about 19%. Uh, there's been a lot of inflows into the African bond markets and the yields are now are down to about 17.5%. But that's good for us. Uh, we've been benefiting from that yield compression. And just to give you an idea, um, Nigeria, for example, in May had about $1 billion a month in inflows. But in September, that was up to $4 billion. So lots of money has been coming into these uh, African bond markets. Second, on the long side, uh, two stocks did very well. El Sawidi, which is an Egyptian company which constructs power stations and high-speed transmission lines for the for the grids in Egypt and the Middle East, continue to get orders. Um, and also one of our oil stocks, Tala Oil, did well. Um, as you might recall from last month, we've been increasing our exposure to energy stocks, and uh, Tala is one of the companies we we purchased. And then on the um, the other driver of returns for this month was the, was the short portfolio. Uh, especially our shorts in South African hospitals, private hospitals. Um, there haven't been, there hasn't been very much growth in privately insured patients in South Africa. And in addition, the health insurance companies there are putting a lot of pressure on the hospitals to uh, reduce their fees and reduce the amount of procedures. Um, so that's been putting a lot of pressure on the hospital stocks. Um, the other big news is uh, this month I just got back from Cape Town, South Africa, where I visited about 24 different companies and had good meetings with them. And the main takeaway take from the, those meetings is that the business confidence in South Africa is quite low right now. Uh, the companies are really looking towards the December elections of the ANC party, and they want to see if there could be a more business friendly president of the ruling party, because right now the current president is not very business friendly and the companies have uh, really scaled back investment and hiring and they're in wait and see mode to see how things shake out at the end of the month, sorry, at the end of the year. Um, similarly, the other, um, the other buy side and asset managers I spoke to are also very conservatively positioned, lots of cash, very overweight international stocks and underweight the domestic South African companies. Um, so it's an interesting setup and um, lots of, I came away with lots of ideas that we can work on and um, both on the long side and the short side that we can think about for the portfolio going forward. Um, overall performance has been pretty good recently and I think there's, we're optimistic that it can, can continue. Um, the portfolio has some pretty good characteristics. If you look at the long portfolio, the long stocks, the average PE is 10 and a half times and the EPS growth is 14%. Similarly, on the short side, the P is about 18 times with 12% EPS growth. And I think we're being, uh, these are all our own numbers, and I think we're being conservative on the, on the long side that the EPS growth could be more than 14%. And I think we're giving the shorts a good benefit of the doubt that they may not actually grow at 12%, but it's best to be uh, safe and conservative. Um, also, finally, with the bond portfolio in there, when you include the dividends we're getting and the interest from the bonds, you've got an overall yield on the investments of about just over 6%. So I think it's a good mix of good valuations, good growth, and some income. And uh, hopefully that mix uh, works, continues to work well for us and we can continue to do well the rest of the year. So thanks.